Hey guys, it's Mary Furby from Mary Leaf Makes. Today I'm going to be showing you our last line stitch, which is split stitch. It's one of my favorites. Today I'm just showing you it as a line stitch. In a later video, I'll be showing you it as a filler stitch. So we're going to do it here and on this side. And I'm going to show you first what it looks like with just three strands of DMC. And then I'll be showing you what it looks like with all six. All right, so let's get started. All right, so with any line stitch, of course, as we've talked about, we're going to insert our needle in. And we're just going to make a simple straight stitch like you do with the back stitch. And then we're going to come up a little further, just like you do with the back stitch. And instead of going into the same hole, we are actually going to insert the needle in between the fabric or in between the other thread. Sorry. I'm going to come up a little bit further here, pull through and insert in between the thread of the previous stitch. Now this stitch makes a pretty good line and it's also fairly quick. You don't have to worry about getting it exactly in the same hole like you do with backstitch. And it ends up being usually a little bit smoother than backstitch. So just go up, insert it into our line here. I'm going a little crooked with our line. Pull up further down on your line, insert into your thread and pull through. Up further on your line, pull through, into the insert. Just like that. And there's another technique for split stitch that I'm going to show you here in a minute. I kind of missed that one. And thread there. And then usually I still like to do just a tiny one here at the end to make it all look uniform. And there you go. Split stitch. So let me show you it with three strands of DMC and um, the other technique that you can use. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you this um, split stitch with six strands of DMC. And I'm also going to show you a different technique. So the first thing you're going to want to do is insert your needle like we did previously and pull through. Oh. Then you're going to want to go a little bit further up and pull through again. Now, instead of going further up our line and working backwards, instead what we're gonna do is insert our needle in between the strands first, pull tight, and then work our way down. So it's just kind of the reverse of what we were just doing. It's not really a pro or con. I just wanted to show you both ways. I like the other way better because I feel like I can go faster. I don't have to try to aim to make sure I get it in between in the middle of the strands. Insert it back through, pull through, go a little bit further down your line. Come back in between your last stitch, pull through, down. So it's another pretty fast stitch, the split stitches. just like I did at the end to keep it uniform, I do a small little stitch here, pull through, and insert into our last stitch, just like that. And there you have it. That is the split stitch as a line stitch. I will show you it as a filler stitch later on. Um, let me know if you have any questions and tune in to see what the next thing we do is to fill our sampler hoop. Thanks so much for watching.